Hi guys, um, in this video I'm going to be showing you, uh, doing a technical analysis of uh, DIA, which is the ticker for the uh, Dow Jones uh, ETF, tracks the Dow Jones Industrial Average. So the Dow Jones, uh, as of Friday, November 15th, it closed at a high of just eclipsed 28,000. It's an all-time high. Um, so I'm going to run a technical analysis to see if this you know, run up in the price is sustainable. So I'm going to pull up a daily chart here. We can see that the price of DIA closed at 279.94. And again, this is showing the last 130 trading days. So you can see there uh, in the top window um, towards the far right hand of the right side of the screen uh, the price is 279.94 um, it's well above the 20-day moving average of 273.40 well above the 50-day of 270.28 and it's approaching the top end of the Bollinger Bands which again occurs about 95 percent of the time the price is going to fall between those two uh, Bollinger Bands there so we're going out, you know, almost past two standard deviations uh, above. So, you know, in my take on this is that, you know, the price is getting to be overextended. Uh, we're well above the 200-day moving average of 263.67. Um, and you can see there that, you know, over the last, since, you know, about June 1st, that's been a pretty good support line for DIA is that 200-day moving average. Um, and so, you know, the, the first time it, the only time it's fell below that was, you know, late May. Um, so what does this tell you? I mean, so I think that, you know, if we look at the RSI in that second window, uh, the 14 day RSI, um, it's over 70 now it's at 75, almost 76. So any time that that's happened, um, over the last, you know, about what, seven, eight months, um, since, you know, the middle part of May, anytime that the RSI has gone above 70, we've seen, we've seen a pullback. So it, it occurred, well, the, the only time that it clipped 70, went above 70, you can see there on July 15th, over the next month, uh, there was a pullback of, you know, in this case, it went from about, you know, 274 down to, you know, on July 15th, the index was about 274. Uh, and then it went down to roughly, down to the 200 day moving average, the support there, about 256. So, you know, I think that what this tells you, if I was a trader, I, I would probably be selling a little, a little bit of my stock here if I own the DIA, um, as I think that given the technical analysis here, there's most likely, the odds would say, that there is a, maybe a pullback coming over the next month or two. Um, but who knows, you know, this, it could keep running up, it's just that the the analysis, the technical analysis would, would indicate or lead you to believe that the, there may be a pullback coming. Um, you know, volatility is very low right now. There's you know, optimism of a, of a trade deal with China. And any time that you get that news, you know, there's a, there's a lot of optimism. There's a lot of bulls in the market right now. And that's why you, you've seen, you, you saw the Dow close, um, you know, close to 28,000 um, on Friday, November 15th. Volume's going up. It looks like, you know, the volume is supporting the upward trend, um, you know, which is a good is a good sign. But at the same time, it's, uh, you know, it, it leads you to believe that, you know, if there's, a, if there's a negative catalyst somewhere, I mean, volatility's at, you know, uh, I mean, a, a six to eight month low right now. So there's a lot of uh, optimism in the market. But 
according to my take on this technical analysis, um, I, I think that there may be a little bit of a pullback coming over the next month or two. Um, time will tell. Um, but uh, hope, that, hope this helps you, helps you guys, and uh, thanks, thanks for watching.